On November 23, 2009, 58 people, 32 of them journalists, were killed in broad daylight and buried in a shallow grave in Sitio Masalay, Ampatuan, Maguindanao. For 10 years, a trial was held. Today, this comes to a close as Quezon City Regional Trial Court Branch 221 Judge Jocelyn Solis Reyes hands out her verdict on what is called the trial of the decade. Members of the media started arriving past 5 a.m. here in Camp Bagong Diwa where the verdict will be handed down inside a courtroom. We were told that Camp Bagong Diwa will be on lockdown starting 6 a.m. for security purposes. Yesterday, one of the principal accused, Saldi Ampatuan, was returned to his detention cell inside Camp Bagong Diwa after weeks of confinement at the Makati Medical Center. His brother, Datu Andal Jr. or Datu Unsay Ampatuan, one of the supposed gunmen of the massacre has been detained inside Camp Bagong Diwa for 10 years. Their brother, Dato Sajid Islam, is out on an 11 million peso bail, so he will enter the camp the same way as everybody else, the same way as Judge Reyes and his staff at the Quezon City Regional Trial Court, the same way as the 56 lawyers for the complainants, the relatives of the 58 victims, and 10 public prosecutors of the DOJ. If Judge Reyes decides to read out the entire verdict, it could last up to four hours because we are hearing that the verdict is hundreds of pages long. Judge Reyes will call the court to order beginning 9 a.m. The Supreme Court has allowed live coverage of the verdict so all of you at home can watch from the internet, from TV, and from the radio as we give you live blow-by-blow -blow updates. You can follow Rappler.com on Twitter Tune in to Rappler.com and Rappler.com on Facebook for the latest update on the verdict of the trial of the decade. This is Lian Buon reporting live from Camp Bagong Diwa in Taguig.